And to get us in perspective in this crucial election in Sri Lanka, Bhavani Fonseca is joining us from Colombo. She is a lawyer and senior researcher at the Center for Policy Alternatives. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast, ma'am. Thank you. The Election Commission of Sri Lanka is estimating that the voter turnout might be around 65%. Isn't that low for a country like Sri Lanka that usually records between 70 to 80%? Why do you think that's the case? Well, a couple of reasons. And I have to say, parliamentary elections, uh, the voter turnout is usually much less than a presidential. This was expected in terms of a lower voter turnout to September's turnout. But there is also a particular fatigue among the voters. We have just had a massive election in September. And a few weeks later, we are having the parliamentary elections. So I'm not entirely surprised that it was much less. But I think it's very important to note that like the September presidential election, today's election was peaceful. It was free and fair. And I think that's a notable difference compared to the previous elections we've had in Sri Lanka. Right. Ms. Fonseca, as you rightly pointed out, these parliamentary elections come about 50 days after the presidential elections. So one would assume that the voters are still uh, on the same lines of how they voted back in September. How optimistic are you that Anurag Kumar Adisanayaka's party will get a majority? Well, I would say there is a much more optimism and curiosity towards the president's party, that's the NPP, compared to the September election. And that's going by the, the campaigns that were there just before in terms of the last few days. And the president visiting most of the districts across Sri Lanka, where you saw massive crowds coming together to listen to the president. And several of those who attended those campaigns and who said they're going to vote for the NPP did not vote for the president in September. So I would say the president's party is likely to gain in the last from the last election. But considering the voter turnout, we'll have to see when the results start coming out how well they did and how well the opposition parties did. So I think the next couple of hours is going to be critical. And in the next couple of hours, we'll see the postal voting and soon followed by the district results. But I think the president's party would have gained considering the, the support he had among sections of society. Right. Since you say that, paint a picture for us. In case AKD's party does not get a majority, what does that mean for the future of Sri Lanka and its taxpayers? Well, the president himself say, has said, and his own colleagues have said, that they don't want a two-thirds majority, considering the, the past experiences Sri Lanka has had with governments who've had two-thirds majority. Even today, after voting, he made that public statement. I think the party is looking to a simple majority or a bit more than a simple majority. That's over 113 seats. And I think for moving reforms, this is sufficient as long as they're able to work with particular opposition parties. And I think for a healthy democracy, it's not just a strong government one needs, but a strong opposition, an opposition that can act as a check, as can act as an oversight in terms of executive action. So it's very important to see who gets the numbers in parliament, who can form government. There is no clear indicator yet. I think in the next couple of hours, we would know this. And then it's dependent on who gets into government and who is heading particular ministries. But that also said, opposition plays a critical role in terms of committees, who is going to lead in certain um, positions in parliament. So all of this is important. So it's not just the government, but the government being able to work right. across parties to get through key reforms. All right, Ms. Fonseca, thank you so much for your insights. Always good to speak to you. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.